With it, it unlocked the ultimate Ice Age survival technology, tailored clothing. Before the needle, you could wear a hide. After the needle, you could wear a garment. The difference is monumental. Using fine thread, probably made from animal sinew, our ancestors could now stitch together multiple precisely cut pieces of hide. This meant they could create true form-fitting clothing, trousers, shirts, parkas, boots, and mittens. We even have hints of this in the Venus figurines, small statues carved around 25,000 years ago, which show figures with what look like woven caps and belts. This wasn't about fashion, it was about physics. Fitted clothing creates layers, and the most important layer isn't the hide. It's the layer of air trapped between your skin and the garment. That trapped air, warmed by your own body, is the most effective insulator on the planet. Instead of one drafty poncho, you now had a personal portable shelter, a well-made inner layer of soft leather and an outer layer of thick fur could create a microclimate around your body, keeping you warm and dry. The needle also allowed for a level of craftsmanship that made clothing weatherproof. Seams could be stitched tight and overlapped, blocking the wind. It's even possible they used sinew that would swell when wet, sealing the stitch holes and making their gear water resistant, similar to techniques used by later Inuit cultures. Suddenly, rain and snow weren't an immediate, life-threatening crisis anymore. 